challenge machine, there is a rocket, which is a balloon that goes up and has a styrofoam ball on the top, and then the styrofoam ball falls out, goes through the funnel, hits this metal ball, which then goes and bounces on the trampoline, hits the magnets, and it goes into orbit. So for the rocket, we start with a balloon like this, which didn't work as well, so we decided to switch to a balloon like this. Then, also for the rocket, to, for the straw part, we had a few different types of straws. We had a skinnier straw, um, and then we decided to use the McDonald's straw, which is bigger around, um, because it's easier for the balloon to travel. Um, another problem that we had with the rocket was that the wire has a plastic coating on it, and the straw would stick, so we um, lubricated it. So in the beginning, we started out with a cup like this and the heavy marble with this. One of the problems was that it kept on falling out, and another problem was that it weighed too much. So we realized that we needed a shape that was more like this with the open on top, which is where we got this idea. We started out as a cone, and we cut big holes in it so that it would weigh even less. Um, but then it was still too heavy, so we decided to switch to a styrofoam ball like this, and then it would just knock down this one, but this didn't weigh enough. So we decided to switch to this one, and um, we hollowed out the inside so that it wouldn't weigh too much, but it still weighed enough to hit the metal ball. Another problem that we had was that the balloons would stretch too much once you used it a lot. So for our transfer, we have a larger ramp and then a smaller ramp that is inside of the larger ramp. What happens is the styrofoam ball goes through the funnel and comes onto the larger ramp, which then hits this ball, which is on the smaller ramp. For the smaller ramp, we have two extra layers built in on the top so that it would hit the ball in the center. So to balance the metal ball, we had a few ideas. We decided that we could use a grain, some salt to balance it, but that didn't work too well because it just kept on falling. So we decided to switch to a wrinkle in the paper. The track that we have um, kept on moving, which made it even less likely that the whole thing would work. So we taped down the track to this and this. Also, when the ball would roll down here, it was really um, wrinkly. So we had to put another we had to put some tape on it and try to smooth it out. Whenever our track is just connected to the orbit, it works really well because the trampoline isn't involved. But whenever the, whenever the trampoline is added, then it makes it even less likely to work. So to cut down on the distance that the marble had to travel, we decided to raise it up and put it up higher. This base would also move a lot, and so we decided to put it up higher with um, a weight on it. So for the orbit, we started out with these magnets, but they were on top of each other. And then we realized that the um, target is too small, so we moved to a bigger magnet, which was also a lot heavier. So we realized that that, um, that whenever it hits it, then it just goes straight. It doesn't go in orbit at all. Also, we tried um, a ball of tape, so that instead of needing to be magnetic, it could be a big target, and it just had to stick. But then we realized that the, um, the magnet wouldn't stick on there unless you stuck it on there. So that didn't work. So we decided that we had to go back to the two smaller magnets, but we needed the, disc, the target to be larger. So we broke one in half and attached it to the outsides so that it still had the same target amount as the bigger magnet, but it weighed less. For the orbit, we have um, rock and cardboard so it holds it on there before it gets hit to go off. Um, another problem that we had with the orbit was that it was just hard to get the marbles to aim properly. Um, part of that was because of the trampoline, you couldn't tell where it would hit. But when, once we got everything lined up, then it worked really well. In the end, we got the rocket to work almost every time, and then without the trampoline, we got the orbit to work every time. And then with the added trampoline, then we got it to work in every five to ten times. Since I got the trampoline to work almost every time, I decided to take the challenge that my mentor gave to me, which was making the string shorten automatically. That would make the orbit get smaller and smaller, and the magnet move faster and faster. The first thing that I tried was a heavy weight falling down the center. I have um, a pulley system where there's an earplug in here, 
and it's attached to fishing wire, which is clipped down here. And it has um, a heavy object on this side. So when the marble comes and hits the magnets, the magnets will bump into the fishing wire and make the earplug come down so that the heavy object will make the magnets raise up and it will create a smaller orbit. So let's try it. So then I thought about using a motor, but I'm not that familiar with them. So I decided that I had to go back to the pulley idea, but, making, but this time making sure that the string was out of the way. Like here, the string goes up from the magnets, and then over here, and down to this weight. So I switched to fishing line because it um, wouldn't get caught in here like the other string did. I had to make sure that the magnets and the marble didn't weigh too much, that the weight couldn't make them go up, but also that they didn't weigh too, too little so that it went up too fast. So without the marble on, it goes up very quickly. But I do have the mark on, it'll go up slower. Like that. Also here, there was a problem where the weights kept on getting caught on here, so it would just hang there and it wouldn't be able to go down. So I put some cardboard on so that it would be a smoother ride for the weights. So to balance the magnets, it took me a while. I couldn't figure out how to make them stay without holding them down. But I finally figured out just to turn the rock and cardboard upside down so that I, the weight could be pulling on it and it would just hold. So that is how I got my, this string to be able to shorten automatically. And now you'll be able to see it from start to here.